this film is particularly known these days has been used on movies like The Lighthouse, where they used it in 35mm form, but today I'll be shooting it in double eight or regular eight millimeter which it operates quite different to super eight like most of, most of you might think one side of this runs down the little path rolls onto the other take-up spool flip it over and the, then you run it back through and it shoots the other side hence calling it double eight so we're going to load this up uh, go shoot a few of um a few places around newcastle develop it and see how it turns out so hopefully it turns out well and the camera I'll be using is my trusty Bolex P1 which I will show how to load that now so to load the Bolex is pretty much the same as any 8mm cameras you first pull out your 8mm film and remember this is light tight so highly recommend doing this not in bright light just in dimly lit light so I might quickly turn this bad boy off here and crank the ISO up to about there so you guys can see well so what you do you take open it all up the rubber band on this one. This box is from the Film Photography Project, by the way. Yeah, put it on. You open your little film gate. Put it through. Close it. Then you thread this onto the bottom one. Which can always be a pain, but remember by doing this you're only losing a second or two of film so it doesn't really matter roll that on nicely you can run your camera for a little make sure that it is definitely running so let's grab this We're having some problems there, so but now run them like clockwork. You can see that there once it's all bitten down. So we'll go shoot this bad boy and just again run them like clockwork. So we can shut that up. I'll put it on one, knowing that I'm on side one, and good to go. So
everybody else so I'm back from a air shooting and get that that all pretty alright I guess time will see so it all ran through the bowl XP1 pretty without any issues there so all the testing to do is it's amazing low mode Takes 16mm and if you're on user data, 8mm is just 16mm, but split in half is where you like. If you'd like another video on that in the future, let me know. But for the meantime, let's get to developing. Okay, well we're done our developing, and now yeah, it's time to let the film dry, which we'll leave it dry over there on the rail. When it is dried, we'll split the 16mm film into two 8mm parts, and I'm quickly made with this little piece of wood and a few angles and a razor. If you'd like to see a video on how I made this, just let me know too. This works a treat, I literally just pull it through there, split it, bam, my 16mm film goes to a regular 8mm film. So let's go split that and I'll get back to you again and that's dry. One split. So that's all all that video you've been seeing through the video that I've been shooting. This is the end process here which I developed with photographer's formula and all the book at Dark Bro, you've got the recipe, I'll let you know down below how I developed it with my with my lovely Lomo tank. That kind of sweet word right now. But in the meantime, thanks for watching everyone. Um, hope you liked it and you want to see the full couple minutes of footage that I did manage to shoot from Kodak's double X 8mm stock. Let me know down in the comment section and I'll be sure to release that shortly. Alright, cheers guys, have a good one.